1650 graphics card has been around for a little too long and today we are going to show you the replacement. This right here is the RTX 3056 gig and in today's video we're going to be testing it inside a $330 gaming PC that we're going to show you step by step how to put together but before we dive into that let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Hello, Matt here. And Jackson, and today we want to talk to you about our sponsor, Newegg. Newegg is our favorite place to shop online, but we tell you that a lot. Maybe a bit too much, so instead we'd like to have some real people tell you all about Newegg. They have the most incredible sales, like the MetaQuest 120 gigabyte model for 25% off. Only $199 to explore virtual reality? Who can beat that? Newegg never asked me where my money comes from, and that's just how I like it. What did the last guy mean by they don't ask him where his money comes from? The AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 3D normally sells for $449, but right now they're selling it for $309. What a steal. When I use Newegg, I just know they're never gonna find me. Are we just, we just gonna act like that guy's normal? You know every moment that you're not moving, they're getting closer. Closer is how I feel to my family after getting my laptop online to play games with my nephews. Wait, wait, where did he, where did he? New egg, the parts you need, no questions asked. So for $79, this is our main candidate right here. This is an Optiplex 5050, or at least I'm 5050 that it's an Optiplex. <laughs> but what we have here is an eBay Optiplex that is a full-size tower. This is called an MT, meaning it can fit a full-size graphics card. You don't have like the low profile needs or anything. And they actually put the PCIe in a good spot on these. That's one thing you're gonna notice with any of the small form factors or any of like the ultra smalls that you're not gonna fit any full-size card in it. And this one actually has a graphics card funny. Do we yeah, put that in there? I don't know what the graphics card is, but it was included. Let me see. Oh, oh. so it comes with an R5 430. Oh, this is actually not a bad card, honestly. It's a good little freebie for 79 bucks. But uh, we do have a 6 Gen i7, which is going to be a 4 core, 8 thread. Uh, as far as RAM goes, we are going to be upgrading it, but we'll go ahead and. So yeah, we basically bought it with an eight gig stick, but we just went ahead and removed that for the video purpose because this actually has four RAM slots. Um, and we do get obviously one PCIe lane that is a full size lane. It is a X16, it's gonna be a gen three lane. And as far as storage goes, we saved money by not buying one with storage because we wanna add our own. You do have the option of actually doing an M.2 right here. And you also get SSD cages right up here along with the hard drive cage. And of course, we're not gonna be using the hard drive. We got this silicon power, this is a one terabyte, two and a half inch SSD. So that's pretty good fitting inside of our budget. Now this right here is the GPU that's gonna be going in there and really the main inspiration for this video. This is the RTX 3056 gig, which to be honest on its launch, people were not super excited about. It's slower than the 3050, which we think the 3050 has a place in the market, but a lot of people don't think that that even should exist. So coming out of the version that's even cheaper and less VRAM, um, well, people aren't super excited. But the reason we are excited and you should be excited is this card requires no external power, meaning with these office PC upgrades, you'll have no worry about having a power supply that can't power this thing because you don't have like an 8 pin power connector. So we'll go and open it up and see what it looks like. But this would be like our first build with this. I imagine at some point we will be getting a version that is low profile. They do sell those as well and they might end up in some PC Bros PCs or PC selling business. So be sure to check out PC Bros Attack today. Um, but yeah, this right here is a two fan card. Again, no external power required. It does come with uh, three displays out. So we have two HDMI and one display port. And yeah, for a two fan card, it looks pretty nice. And these cards do come in around $169, which just slots right into what 1650s are going for. And it gives you two more gigs of VRAM and extra performance being a new gen card with RTX. So now that we talked about the parts, we're gonna show you guys really quickly how to upgrade the step-by-step. -step, and hopefully we'll be playing some AAA titles at 1080p. All right, guys, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check the thermal pace on the CPU because with these older Optiplexes, sometimes these things have not had even the original thermal pace removed. Um, so you don't have have to do this but it is recommended to get the best possible temperatures on your optiplex we're gonna go ahead and unscrew each corner to get equal pressure removed like this is oh i think it was down tight i think this is probably still the factory there won't pay so it's probably gonna be a little bit crusty but yeah we're gonna unscrew each side and then we'll be able to swap it out for something nicer and dish one good that one looks good and the grand review oh my goodness that thermal paste don't look too hot, guys. That's not paste, that is uh, chalk at this point. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug, you can leave it if you want to, we'll go ahead and unplug the CPU fan from this header right here. We'll have to plug it back up when we put it on there. But I need to get a little alcohol swab to uh, clean this off. Uh, rubbing alcohol is probably the easiest way to deteriorate uh, thermal paste and get it out of the way. Now we got a little thermal paste hiding in there. Is that an i7-6700? Yep. Nice. 
good job. Now sometimes thermal paste will get a little crusty down here. Try to get it all out the best you can. Let that dry off. I'll go ahead and clean the bottom of our cooler as well. Honestly, if you didn't want to do this step and you like, let's say, started gaming on it and noticed that your CPU is running in like the high 80s and 90s, then I would recommend doing this. But uh, for the most part, I mean, after this, the CPU should probably hover around like the 60s, high 70s, which for a little tower cooler like this, plenty fine. So now we got that clean. We're gonna go ahead and take some thermal paste. We're just using some cryofuse from Cooler Master. Get whatever thermal paste you want, honestly. Gonna go ahead and open it up. Put a little dollop right here. And I'm gonna call that good. Little dollop right there. And then we're gonna take our cooler, make sure the cable for the fan is going this way. Line it up. And this motherboard actually tells you number wise, one, two, three, four, which way to screw them in but don't screw them down all the way. So you wanna do a couple there, go over to two, a couple there, here, and just continue that until it's fully tightened down. Also, I have to give a shout out to um, one of our viewers that did a super comment for $10, by the way. Thank you for the $10. Now that we have that nice and secure, we're gonna go ahead and take our little uh, CP fan cable and plug her back where she belongs. Now, we're actually gonna be putting our RAM back in. Um, we really didn't need to take it out to begin with. You probably already saw the reason why. We're gonna go ahead and put the RAM back in that we had before. Um, we are using three sticks of memory, which is a little bit of a weird configuration. You might be able to find one of these with 16 gigs out of the gate, but ours came with eight with two four gig sticks. So how we're gonna do things is we're going to go and push these back in in the two white slots. We're going to take our last stick, put it in like so. And just like that, we have 16 gigs of RAM. We have our CPU nice and cleaned up with new thermal paste. We're gonna put in our SSD in, which is actually really easy in these new Optiplexes because look at this. This is an SSD mount, like it's that easy. Some of these might not come with them. And in that case, honestly, you could find like little spots right here where you could probably screw in the SSD. There's screw holes right here. You could line them up right there and screw it in if you want to. But if yours comes with this and pop it in, like this, super simple to line up all the holes. Boop, boop. And then we're gonna go and take it and slide it in like that. And then we already have our SATA power and data to where we plug up the SATA data right there. And the SATA power right there. And just like that, we're good. That's already in SATA zero as well. So that will be our main boot drive. But yeah, we installed the RAM, the storage, and we uh, cleaned off the thermal paste on our CPU to make it run nice and cool. Jazz is gonna show you how to install your GPU. I just looked this up like it was in there. It's not in there right now, but 3056 gig, very excited to see how this thing's gonna perform. Jazz is gonna show you how to install it. This right here will be super simple because you don't even need to add any cables or anything. So first things first, in case you don't know how, I'm gonna show you how to remove a graphics card. So we're gonna go ahead and take out this 430, which will be great in a PC Briz build, but we're just gonna basically pull back this bracket and then we're gonna push back on this plastic release for the PCIe like that. And now we have our old graphics card out, which is actually a low profile card with a full size bracket. Now this is a full size card with a full size bracket. We're gonna take this off. This is just a cover. Oh my God, this thing's really on here, there we go just to cover to protect your uh, gold traces. And at this point, we need to go ahead and line up our GPU and figure out what we need to remove uh, because you have these little covers here. So as you can see, it looks like, yeah, we're gonna need to remove this one here. Now, obviously, if you've never had a graphics card installed, you're gonna have to remove two of these, but in our case, we just have the one and it is a break off tab. So you just wiggle it back and forth and then it breaks off like that. Can't reuse it or anything, so make sure you choose wisely. So right now we're lined up. It's just sitting in the PCA lane, but we're gonna have to put some pressure on it. So I like to kind of take a couple hands here. You should get like a pretty nice click, honestly. Make sure this lines up too. Sometimes you'll, you'll get it in the back here where you'll see like, you know, it's slightly out of the lane, but this is looking pretty good. We look nice and lined up here. I'm pretty confident. So let's go ahead. Okay, uh, toolless, totally toolless. Our graphics card feels pretty, pretty sturdy and it looks like we can access all of our ports. So that's definitely a good sign. And that's literally it for the graphics card. It was that easy, guys. So easy to install the graphics card. And uh, yeah, you guys don't have to worry. We have good clearance too, by the way, I think. 
Yeah, they actually give you like a cutout for the card. It's absolutely perfect. Now, if you guys want to know how to install Windows, which you might be wondering, you need to install Windows on this machine to get it up and running. If you go to our PC Bros YouTube channel, we have a bunch of guides on software and uh, optimization of PCs. And of course, it's our PC selling business. So we got to plug that YouTube channel. So definitely check that out if you want to see a tutorial on how to install Windows. But we're going to jump straight into gaming, see how this 3050 performs with this i7 and see if this is a good meta combo for 2024. All right, guys, we are playing the finals and we're at 1080p. We got the low setting preset because this is a this is a low setting king right here, and uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys the setting just to prove it. But yeah, we have uh, RTX set to static, low preset, 1080p, max FOV. This ain't Play bad it. for a three hundred thirty dollar computer. This is a game that I was worried probably wouldn't run great with that older i7, but it's it's not too bad. The the saving grace is it's a four core eight thread. I wouldn't even try this with a normal quad core. No, like like a like like a third or fourth gen i5 just yeah. would not be fun. Point and click, baby. Where do you think you all are going? Oh, kind of, kind of fire right now. Kind of fire. Hey. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like I has me. Uh oh, Grandpa Yoda. I better try to steal. I need to guard this for a few more seconds here. Oh no, I got the rose. Uh, this is bad. Oh, he's gonna get double team. Ow. Ow! He's snatching your people up. Don't need to hide your PCs. Hide your 4090s. Oh, and so where did you just come uh, from? Oh my god. Yep. They were just too strong. Purple is just built different. This PC with that 3056 gig, it's surprisingly built pretty different. I think so far the 3056 gig is looking like a really good replacement for the 1650. It's looking better. Well, let's try another game. All right, guys, so we're in Fortnite right now. We're currently running DX12 performance settings, far view distance, low textures, 100% render scale, no upscaling or anything like that. And um, I will say this is going to be a game that's going to be much more CPU bound. And every time we tested a system with this i7, there's some stutters. Uh, the CPU clock speed only being 3.7 gigahertz. Um, there's a lot of factors that definitely cause this to stutter a bit. Um, but knowing me, I'm probably gonna die here in just a second, so you'll get two drops. And normally that does make things a bit better. <laughs> and the frame rate is unlocked, which I normally recommend capping after you figure out what like the ceiling is so it doesn't you know work unnecessarily hard. Unload, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's a dangerous God. stutter right there. Ah! No. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that thing is lagging. That's, the slow mo is crazy. Hey! Oh no, I didn't mean to shoot him. I wanted to use this again. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Shout out Fortnite for these crazy things you can use in the game now. Oh, <laughs> he was trying so hard to get away. Yeah, oh no! Whip him, whip him. <laughs> Yeah, hey! Where are we going? You son of a bitch. We got a runner. Aha! Uh -huh. But yeah, guys, Fortnite, it's gotten a lot better. Um, it, we get anywhere between like 100 to like 90 FPS. I think a fair average would be like 90. We are dipping into 130, 140 range right now. So this combo is running really good. I'm actually very impressed with the 3056 gig. Good upgrade for sure over um, the uh, 1650, especially at the same price point. Um, and it's gonna be great for these office PC upgrades. So we're gonna run 3D Mark Times 5. We're gonna run um, another couple games, see what else this thing is capable of doing. And then from there, we'll wrap this video up real quick because looking like a good new meta combo going into 2024. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking our Optiplex, and overall, I can say that I am pretty happy with this 3050. The fact that it goes pretty well in a system like this, especially for the price, but also, I would not be hesitant to put this in a brand new, very nice, latest and greatest system as well. And then the other games we decided to test, Apex Legends, we ran on 1080p medium settings. We got no problems getting a high refresh rate, 100 plus FPS experience. And of course we had to test this in 3D Mark Time Spy, which ended up getting a score of 4,739, which is a seven cent per point score. So the RTX 3050 six gig gets a lot of hate because it is a lesser version of a card that people aren't super happy with already, but it has a very awesome use case in these office PCs because of the no external power requirement and it coming in at a price point that does replace the GTX 6. 
1650. Now, in no way does it replace the used market value or anything like that, but it does have a place in the market, especially in these builds. So if you want to build one of these systems yourself, check the link's description down below. They will be affiliate links. They will help us out. Let us know what you think of the 3056 gig in the comment section down below. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's YouTube video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Guys, back on into PC Bros to get some great deals on our PCs. As you can tell, customers are just dying to get inside even when we're closed. <laughs>